Automating plugins in Pro Tool is really easy and it really helps in mixing stages and even in live sets. So let us move to the computer and find out how you can automate plugins in Pro Tools. By default, Pro Tool enables you to automate volume, volume trim, mute, pan options using the automation lanes. Now let us add a plugin and try to automate that plugin. I'm going to add the EQ31 band plugin. This is an inbuilt plugin that comes inbuilt with Pro Tools. You can use any plugin, whether an inbuilt plugin or a third party plugins to automate different parameters of a plugin. So in the EQ31 band plugin, I have different parameters like input, filter type, filter Q strength, frequency and gain. So to automate different parameters of this plugin, all I need to do is go to this option, plugin automation enable. And here on the left, I can see different parameters that I can automate for this particular plugin. If you have any other plugin added, you will have different op parameters for that particular plugin that will be displayed here. So let me add my first parameter that is frequency that I will automate using the automation lane. And let's also add master bypass as the second parameter that I will automate using the automation link. And after that, all I need to do is hit OK. Now let's head over back to the session view and just like this here. Now, if I head over to the automation lane, I will be able to see the EQ31 band and the parameters that I added in the list for automation. Let's first automate the frequency here. At, at present, we have 1000 Hertz and below being cut. Let's roll over this first to let's say 70 Hertz. Now the automation al lane also moved down and go to the pencil tool and let's choose random for just for the demonstration purposes. I'm going to choose random and let's build over this. So let's build here and let's build till this point and let's build here anything. This is being built randomly and I'm just doing this for automation purposes. Here I have automated the frequency spectrum, the frequency cut here for this particular plugin. And if I play over now, you will see this particular parameter being varied according to the automation lane that is drawn here. So the frequency parameter for this particular EQ has been automated. Let's also try and automate the master bypass parameter that we added. And let me just turn it on here. And for this section, let's turn it back out off here. So if I add the channel lane here and if I use the frequency here, I can see both the lanes here and let's play back and see what happens. Now you know how to automate plugins in Pro Tool, but do you know about different automation modes like write, read, latch and when to use them in Pro Tools? Watch the next video and find out.